we're finally able to put the leaks behind us now. I did a couple previous videos that showed how we repaired those leaks, except for this front window that's between the cab of the truck and the camper. That's been an ongoing issue for us. Now with the camper still being on the truck, I'm gonna use this side window to show you what we did because it's a little hard to see it. Uh, we haven't had any trouble with this window, but the seal system is very similar. Um, I initially went in and thought the water was coming in between this seal and the frame. So I put a little bead of caulk all the way around just on that portion of it, and it continued to leak. So I went back and put a wide bead of caulk all the way from the glass over that seal and over to the frame. Um, after doing that, that solved the problem. We were in a, able to test it in a, a pretty strong rain that lasted for quite some time and no water got into the camper at that point. So I feel safe in saying that one has been solved. One other problem that we come across while we were doing our build inside was one of the screws that we pulled out of the paneling had rust on the back side of it. I come outside and look and it's directly below this marker light. So with all the other leak issues that we had had, I was concerned about it. So I pulled all the marker lights down, um, filled all the screw holes with a silicone. And then there's also a hole that the wiring comes through the siding here and goes into the back of that marker. I filled that with silicone, put a butyl tape over all of those holes. And so that gave us a double seal. Uh, makes me feel a lot better about that's going to keep the water out now. So until next time.